somebody who I either had the good fortune or the bad fortune not to have had, I, I won't say which. The reason I never attended this particular class is that I couldn't afford to buy a red pencil. Uh, so if Dr. Isabel Landel Wilkins, who was here for 41 long years, they don't even sentence people to jail that long for murder, for crying out loud. <laughs> if she would give us the benefit of her wit and wisdom, we'd be delighted to hear from her. So.
they've struck a fortune. Or else he has some potatoes somewhere down east, down in Nova Scotia that was a real good buy and so on. And the fortune I made was the one I, w- I would have lost if I'd ever taken any of his advice. <laughs> Probably 
his wife. And I want to put in a little plug for commercial. I want to say that uh, on their behalf, that last night so many of them came told me about them, their careers in, in, uh, in uh, secretarial careers in the, the uh, typing room. And on one table, the whole messy pile of uh, books, paper sticking outside the textbooks, you know, really a, a horrible looking sight. Now, who on earth could that be? Because I always thought my pupils that they should leave their desks just the same way they did in school as they would if they were in an office working. And here were some, what who could have ever done that? So I, I looked in the side of the covers of the books, and there's no name. I, I sat down and looked at all of it inside of it, and there was no name in any of the books. I thought, well, uh, this perfect teacher's not going to let some kids get the better of her. So I sat down and I took all these scraps of paper out of the books and started looking through these papers. And one of them was a sheet in which she started to write a letter. There were three sentences in it. One, the first sentence was, Dear Sonzo, we started in our new school yesterday. Ah, uh, that was two new pupils. Now, they were sisters. All I had to do was tear it down to one of them. And I feel quite, felt quite pleased with myself. And the next sentence was, Our teachers are Miss Smith, Miss Soto, and she listed it. And Mrs. Waters. And this is the next sentence. Mrs. Waters is an old bitch. <laughs>
told them on the CPR, I said, we're proud of the past, but we're planning for the future. I hope that holds good here. And as Mark Anthony said to Cleopatra, I didn't come here just to talk. <laughs> so, <laughs>
The last speaker of the, the afternoon is again a gentleman that's been around for a long time and he's done an awful lot of things to and for the school, mostly for. Uh, a gentleman that's taught us things besides the academic life. Uh, he was a pretty fair 